So since WrestleMania starts tomorrow night, we presidents figured we would predict the winners and the outcomes to each of the matches. What do you mean we figured we would predict the winners? This was all your idea, Trump. I could have been getting my beauty sleep in right now. Oh, Joe, you're just so in love with sleeping, aren't you? How cute, but who really gives a damn? Clearly not your Oompa Loompa looking ass. But let's start off first with the main event of night one, where Cody Rhodes and the freakiest of the freakiest Seth freaking Rollins take on the team of the Rock and Roman Reigns. Personally, I think Cody and Seth are gonna win with Seth pinning The Rock. But after the match, the entire bloodline will beat up Cody and Seth, leaving them injured before both of their world championship matches. Wow, Barack, now that was the nerdiest answer I've ever heard from you, and that's saying something. The obvious outcome is Roman Reigns squashing both Seth and Cody to get the win. He doesn't need stupid Dwayne's help to win because he isn't the final boss. He is the final pussy. Now, you both are wrong because what is going to happen is Seth is going to turn on Cody right before they're about to win, and then the Rock and Roman Reigns will team up on Cody to win while Seth walks away. Joe, have you taken your pills yet today? Actually, I have Barack, and I think that's why I've just come up with an extremely logical answer there, something you could have never come up with in your fat head. Well, all right. Next, let's go to the ladder match for the tag team titles. Now, I think this match may steal the show on whatever night it is on, unless it's on the night where Gunther fights Sammy, because that match is going to steal the whole weekend. I agree with Trump, but the winner for this match has got to be Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. They're going to have the biggest upset of the weekend, and internet wrestling fans are going to have a freaking war. I would agree, but I've got to stick to the Judgment Day retaining the titles just because they're my homies. You both are wrong yet again, because it's obvious the awesome truth is going to win. The story this entire time has been awesome truth versus the Judgment Day. So that's what they're going to be going for, I think. And I'm still not convinced you took your pills, Joe. And I'm still not convinced that Michelle is a woman Obama. Damn it! You really walked into that one, Obama, you really did. But since we were just talking about Gunther versus Sami Zayn, how about we predict this match next? And I think Gunther's gonna retain by the slimmest of margins. Now I think otherwise with Sami pulling off a giant upset by pinning Gunther. This is the only time I'm gonna agree with Trump because I also have Gunther retaining, but I have him retained via referee stoppage because he is gonna beat Sami up so bad, Sami won't be able to fight back any longer. That's the cleverest thing you've ever said, Joe. I'm gonna have to give props to you. Thanks, Orange Man. Don't call me that. You gonna sue me? Wait, you can't because I'm the president. Anyway, next let's go to a newly added match where the team of Bianca, Naomi, and Jade take on damage control, excluding EO Sky. I think it's pretty obvious Bianca's team is winning this. Don't we all agree? Agreed. I do love that Asuka's WrestleMania losing streak will likely continue El Mao. She can never catch a break. Yeah, that's true. And for the next match, how about we go to the World Heavyweight Championship match with Seth Rollins defending his title against the hater of the year, Drew McIntyre. So in my opinion, I'm thinking McIntyre wins the title, but then the Damian Priest cashes in his money in the bank briefcase. But then he will lose the cash in and McIntyre will remain champion. Now that's pretty interesting, Obama. But going on the tag team match Seth had with Cody and him turning on Cody, I pictured during the match right before Seth is going to win, Cody interferes and attacks Seth while the referee isn't looking. This then allows Drew to take advantage and win. After that, the priest will cash in, but fail due to him being mad about losing the tag titles to the awesome truth. I also do think CM Punk will do some stuff on commentary and will probably be attacked or something. He may even be the special guest referee. Now that's something I would love to see. Jesus Christ, you just keep yapping and yapping this episode, Joe. When will it stop? Let your elder cook, motherfucker. Yeah, whatever, but I think Seth is gonna win. It'll be a big shocker, I think. But next, how about we move to the United States title match where Logan defends his title against Kevin Owens and the Viper, Randy Orton. Wait, wait, wait. So you're telling me Logan and Kevin are gonna have to fight a freaking Viper? That thing is gonna do some real damage to them. It might even kill one of them if it bites one of them. Now this is why I don't like snakes, I swear to God. Pipe down, Joe. Anyways, I'm thinking Logan pulls off the win via brass knuckles while the referee isn't looking, but what do you guys think? I do think the brass knuckles will get involved, but Randy takes them off of Logan's hands and RKO's his head onto the brass knuckles, resulting in Randy becoming the United States champion. I think almost the same thing is gonna happen, but with Kevin Owens getting the brass knuckles and knocking Logan out with it while the referee isn't looking, and then he will hit him with a stunner to win the match, ending their feud. 
I'm not gonna lie, you two were kind of cooking there, but I still think I'm right. And that's because you're an egotistical piece of crap. Keep crying, Barry, while I'm in bed with your husband. Wait, you're gay too? Hit me up sometime, Donald. Damn, that backfired majorly for you, bro. Indeed it did, Joe, but for the next match, let's do one that many fans, especially me, are looking forward for, and that's Rhea Ripley defending her title against the man, Becky Lynch. All right, so my prediction is pretty simple. I just think Rhea's gonna win, and then after the match, her and Becky shake hands. as kind of a passing of the torch kind of moment. Kind of like when Cody and Mr. Likes to watch P videos shook hands at SummerSlam last year. El Maljo, you are crazy for that one. But something that I've always wanted to know is, why does Becky call herself the man? Like, is she actually a man? Because if so, Obama is probably drooling onto his keyboard right now. Shut the fuck up, Joe, before I come into the Oval Office and smash this keyboard that I've been drooling on onto your bald head. That's kind of zesty, though. And guys, so the creator of these videos didn't have enough time to finish this video before WrestleMania, so we're just going to skip the rest of the matches and go straight to the main event of night two. Our predictions for the other matches will be in the comments. But it's time for the last match us presidents have to predict, where Roman Reigns defends his undisputed Universal Championship against the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes the second year in a row. Can Cody Rhodes finish his story? I don't think so. Wait, what, you really? April Fool's, bitch. Jesus Christ. Uh, you're a little late on that one, bro. Yeah, that was literally five days ago. Get with the times. God damn, will you shut up, Obama, you KFC eating goblin? No one wants to hear you. But yeah, that was an April Fool's joke because I'm almost 100% sure that Cody is walking out of WrestleMania 40 as champion. And yes, the big D Trump does identify himself as a Cody crybaby. Well, since I think Seth and Cody are winning the tag team match on night one, Roman kind of has to win on night two. He can't just lose two matches two nights in a row. That's just not tribal chief behavior right there. What? And that's the exact reason why I have Roman and The Rock winning on night one so Cody can win on night two. But just because Cody and Seth win doesn't mean Cody is going to lose on night two, Barry. But let me get to my theory. Let me get a chair because this is going to be a long one, I fear. So I think Cody is pretty much going to dominate half of the match, even putting Roman through a table in the ring. And yes, this is bloodline rules because I have Cody and Seth losing on night one. But right as Cody is about to hit Roman with one last crossroads to finish him off and win, Solo Sikoa comes into the ring and attempts to hit Cody with a spike, but Cody counters and hits Solo with a crossroads of his own. Roman then tries to hit Cody with a spear, but Cody counters, hitting him with a crossroads, and then Cody goes for the pin. He pins him for the one, the two, and the, well, oh shit, the rock hits the referee with a steel chair from behind and then begins to abuse Cody with the steel chair. The rock then announces that he is in fact the new referee for the bloodline rules match as he then make Cody bleed from the chair shots and then he wipes the belt he is going to give to Cody's mother onto the belt. Jimmy then runs into the ring to help with the assault on the American nightmare. Solo also gets back up too. But as The Rock is about to hit Cody with the people's elbow, the unthinkable happens. John Cena's theme music hits, and the crowd goes wild as Cena rushes down to the ring, knocking Jimmy and Solo out in his path. He then goes into the ring, but The Rock stops him and hits him with a rock bottom and flings him out of the ring. Then Roman lines up the fallen Cody for a Superman punch. He lands it. He then goes for one final spear to end the match with The Rock watching on. But then, Glass shatters. Stone Cold Steve Austin is here and he rushes into the ring and hits a stunner on Rock and they brawl to the outside, but this doesn't stop Roman. He lines up for a spear to hit Cody with, but then The Undertaker appears behind him and hits him with a choke slam. Cody and Roman then get up at the same time and they trade blows until Cody gets the best of him and then hits Roman with a Cody cutter from the top rope followed up by a trifecta of crossroads to then get the one, two, and the three to win the undisputed universal title. He then celebrates in the ring with John Cena looking on. But yeah, that's my prediction for that match. What did y'all think of that? Uh, hello, are you guys there? <laughs> and y'all make fun of me for sleeping all of the time now. Goddamn, I guess I'll go into my next hibernation. Good night, bitches.